Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, Beijing Declaration 1995 is related to what? It was to focus on gender equality and the empowerment of women. And this year 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of Beijing Declaration. Recently, Ministry of Women and Child Development, the National Commission for Women and UN Women organized a national consultation on the review of Beijing plus 25. That is the 25th anniversary of Beijing Declaration. So that is it. Let's start today's session. First question for the day. With reference to Enforcement Directorate, consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is administered by Department of Revenue. Statement 2. It enforces two laws mainly. Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999, FEMA and Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002, PMLA. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2, Option D neither 1 nor 2. So the correct answer here is Option C both 1 and 2, both the statements are correct. Enforcement Directorate is an organization for enforcing provisions of two laws. One is Foreign Exchange Management Act FEMA, second one is Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 PMLA. It is established in May 1956 as an enforcement unit and in 1957 it was renamed as Enforcement Directorate. Initially the administrative control of Directorate was with Department of Economic Affairs which was later transferred to Department of Revenue in 1960. Two acts we talked about, one is FEMA Act, it is related to foreign currency dealing. Only RBI authorized dealers can buy or sell foreign currency in India and there is a quantitative restrictions on how many dollars or other foreign currency etc you can bring or take out from India so RBI decides on this and FEMA Act is the law dealing with this it is a civil law ED can impose penalty up to 3x time the money involved in a case meaning enforcement director itself has quasi judicial powers here that is uh, giving punishment like a court and PMLA 2002 that is prevention of money laundering act it is a criminal law here enforcement directorate can only investigate arrest the suspects and attach their assets the court will decide punishment and all such assets will be alerted to the government recently the enforcement directorate has arrested s bank founder rana kapoor guys there is one detailed article on s bank crisis issue in the clear ias website i'll post the link of the article in the comment section it is very informative and an in-depth article on this issue please go through it and it's time for our today's quiz question and today's quiz question is a statement and four options you have to choose one correct option and the statement is if a person opens an online portal to facilitate the buying or selling of bitcoins in the lie of rupees he can be investigated under option a foreign exchange management act option b prevention of money laundering act option c both a and b and option D, no legal framework in India to deal with Bitcoin yet. So choose one correct option and please post your answers in the comment section. We will now move to second question. And our second question is with regard to Kaizen or forest disease KFD, consider the following statement. Statement 1, it is a bacterial disease. Statement 2, it does not affect human beings. Statement 3, there is no specific treatment for KFD. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 3 only, Option C 2 and 3 only and Option D 1 and 3 only. So the correct answer here is Option B 3 only. It was first identified in 1957 in a sick monkey from the Kaisenur forest in Karnataka. It is also known as monkey fever. It is endemic to state of Karnataka. Few cases are recorded in Goa also. But if a statement is asked if it is all over India or northern part of India then it is a wrong statement and Kaisenur forest is located in the Shivamoga district of Karnataka. You can see the location in the map. It is a virus disease not a bacterial disease and it is caused by a tick bite. Tick is a small insect you can see in the picture. It affects animals as well as human beings and symptoms are like chills, fever, headache, severe muscle pain, vomiting gastrointestinal symptoms and bleeding may occur and patients may experience abnormally low blood pressure and low platelet count etc and doctors say there is no specific treatment for KFD 
but early hospitalization and supportive therapy is important supportive therapy includes the maintenance of hydration and the usual precautions for patients with bleeding disorders it often comes in news the outbreak still happens sometimes in karnataka so that is it moving to the last question for the day sakhyadri megha recently seen in the news is a option a rain bearing cloud named in western ghats option b new variety of paadi and option c cloud computing initiative and option d air force exercise so the correct answer here is option b it is a new variety of paadi it is a new variety of paadi resistant to blast disease and rich in nutrients blast disease is a fungus infection that affects paadi it was developed by university of agriculture and horticulture sciences shivamogga yes our karnataka shivamogga only Uh, it is developed as a part of initiative to prevent decline in the area and to party cultivation so that is it that's all for today guys please post your answer to the quiz question and your scores in the comment section we will meet tomorrow with another set of questions thank you for watching